you've just finished your suminigashi for your background where you were floating Japanese marble inks. Now you're going to do jayotaku. You get rubber mold fish. These aren't real. And you're going to use printing ink or block ink. And with a brayer, you're going to roll and coat the surface of the fish. Okay? Make sure that you get round the edges as well. Then, with rice paper, you're going to lay it on the surface. Don't let it move once you've got it on there. And with your hands, you're going to very carefully rub. And I want you to get all around the whole fish. So you need to get round those sides as well. Make sure you get the mouth and rub it. And you can very carefully see that the print is starting to come through. Now remember you watched the demonstration video from Japan where they were using real fish and it was the technique that they used for measuring, especially for when they were doing contests and it could be very close and they were using it for printing. But also it's a great way so that we can keep a record of the species. And other ways that they use this jayataku for is for botanical prints as well of plants. Now, when you are absolutely sure that you have it printed, you're going to pull it back And there you have your own Jayotaku fish print. I want you to do about two fish prints, okay? So you can use those and do a composition and mount these on your Suminagashi background. But I'll show you that in another demonstration. But for now we're going to do our Jayotaku fish prints. Now it's your turn boys and girls. Let's go make some art. <laughs>